Thank you, Holy Spirit. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in God's sight. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Uche Favor, and today I'm going to be talking about who is your God. <laughs> All right, let me start. What's the meaning of a God? A God is an idol. I'm talking of small g God. It's an idol. Do you know that so many people have idols in their life and they don't even know that they have made that thing an idol? Um, for instance, something as little as coming to America can be somebody's idol. They cannot hear what the Spirit is saying. They must get this at all costs, even if they have to die for it. There are people like that. It doesn't matter if they have to sell all their morals. It doesn't matter if they're going to marry a married woman or a married man just to get entrance into America or England or Europe. It doesn't matter whatever they have to do. They're going to do whatever they have to do to get there. Then, living abroad has become an idol. For some people... It could be their kids that became an idol. It could be money, the love of money. See, having money is not wrong, but the love of money, where people can do anything for money. I mean, anything. They say, use what you have to get what you want, even if you have to engage in immorality. Oh, he's my sugar mommy. She's my sugar mommy. She's my sugar daddy. The love of money is the root of all evil. For some people, their idol could be their beauty. Oh, my nails. <laughs> Do we have Christian women who get out of church and say we need more of the Holy Ghost? Can we pray some more? Or do we have women and men who are more concerned of the shoe they are wearing? Oh, I cannot roll on the floor in this shoe to God. Oh, no, this shoe, do you know how much I got it? Oh, my hair. I, I cannot dance to God with this hair. Oh, what if it falls off? This is human hair uh, donated from the shrine. It's, it's my human hair. Oh, my nails. No, I cannot open the Bible with these nails. What is your idol? Sometimes an idol could be an anger. Anger can make you lose godly relationships that you've had for years. Anger can make you lose destiny helpers. Are you more interested in your ego than in making peace? In the Bible, we have a man called Naaman. He had leprosy. He was high in command. He was all that, you know, like on the earth. But he had a problem. He had leprosy. He was sick. And somebody suggested to him, this is how you get healed. And he went ahead to be quarreling, trying to quarrel with the man of God and get into a disagreement because the man of God said, hey, just go deep in that water. He's like, me, deep in that water. Oh, it's so dirty. Are there no other clean rivers? And the servant said, just obey. You're the one who needed healing. Just obey. Don't allow anything to separate you from destiny. Help us. And if you've made mistakes, repent to God. If you can repent to the people, repent and just move on. Very important. Very, very important. Don't allow ego get in the way of what God wants to do in 2021. Speak the truth, but speak it in love. Call a spade a spade, but be careful of your heart. Don't allow bitterness scraping. A pig doesn't mind getting dirty. But what about you? You're filled with the Holy Ghost, right? As a child of God, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. So be careful. Don't allow people dirty your garment. Sometimes you have to let it go. Sometimes you have to let it be. Sometimes you just have to wait. Don't feel, I must have that thing. My friends, my mates, they, they, no, it's okay. Let me tell you all you really need in 2021 is the Holy Ghost. A career can be a God. Where a child is, 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 is not, um, it's, it, a, a, a career is more important than a child, than a child's well-being. Today, in any way, we have made gods of anything that can be seen. There are people that their car is driving them. They don't drive the car. Some people, the house is living in them. They're not living in the house. I... Mm. Oh, my God. Some families, the chair, they are more interested in the chair being pure white with no stain on it than even in their child sitting on the chair and relaxing. What makes that chair? Is it not you? What makes that house? Is it not us? What makes money valuable? We are the one that put the value to money. What makes some countries feel more higher than others? See, some of those countries don't even have enough resources. You might even be rich yourself. Your country might be richer than that country that you are using. I mean, if your life is not a risk in your home country, I don't see the need for somebody to go through a desert to now go in the water ah! on a balloon trying to enter Europe. I don't see the need. Except if maybe somebody wanted to kill you, your life was a risk. That's different. You are running for life. 
But I mean, for uh, money, I don't see, I don't, honestly, and I'm not judging, I'm just saying it as it is. Is Europe heaven? I mean, God bless Europe and God bless the West. But it's not heaven. Some Christians are more interested in the West than in heaven. They can do anything to stay in America. But have you, what have you done for your salvation? Okay, I'm, uh, uh, let's just pray. Let's just pray. Some people can do anything just to have a baby. It doesn't matter if they have to meet the voodoo priest, babalaw, or this. Hey, having a child has become your God. Don't allow anybody make matter of what there is no matter. When people want to make you feel nervous of your age, marry, tell them, I'm okay. Stay in your lane. When people want to make you feel nervous about children and childbirth, stay in your lane. I'm okay. The God I serve is more than enough. In his time, he will make it beautiful. In his time, he will make me rich. But for now, I am okay. In this time, our church will grow. Don't make ministry your God. Don't make ministry your God. From now till Jesus come, there will be ministry. Mm -mm -mm. The gates of hell cannot prevail against the church of God. But do not make ministry your God. To the extent of uh, getting a poison, poisoning other people. Father, in the name of Jesus, is there any altars we have built and made our God? The God of self, the God of career, the God of living in the West. Let the power of the Holy Ghost break those altars in Jesus' name. Today, Jesus be our God. Yahweh is you we are going to worship. We are going to be more concerned about the welfare of other people than we are concerned about that material car. Yes, we are going to be more concerned of souls and making heaven than we are going to be concerned of anything that can be seen. A politician cannot be our God. We will preach the truth to a politician. We will tell him and her, your soul needs to be saved. Because we are more concerned about their salvation than in the accolades and in the money that they are going to give us because we are promoting their party on the platform that God gave us. <laughs> I told you, things will shake in 2021. Um, but let's pray. Say, if you've not given your life to Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I accept you as Savior. And right now, God Almighty, today, be our God. In our churches, we are sorry for making our pastors our gods, our papas, our mama. Father, we are sorry. Papa, forgive us. Or even our voices as gospel artists. Sorry for making it our God. Jesus, be our God. We are sorry for making our wardrobe our God. The God of lust, seduction. Father, forgive us. In 2021 and onward, be our God. You be our God. We will worship God. From our heart, we are saying, take our heart and put it in the right place. In Jesus' name. Heal all who are sick. Raise the dead. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and shalom. Maranatha.